Hello everyone and welcome back. Oh no, not disconnected. Maybe you've experienced this before or pages like this when you're trying to get to your favorite website. Well, this could mean that if you're using Wi-Fi, you've been disconnected. Now this is a call we get a lot here at My Computer Works and I wanted to take a minute to discuss how to easily reconnect to Wi-Fi on the Windows 11 operating system in the event that you get disconnected. So follow along with me as I show you how to do that on screen. Let's go. Okay, so I like to show simple, right? Simple is good. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with just a few clicks of your mouse. In fact, let's count those clicks. So first, you're gonna right click on your Windows icon, the four boxes on the taskbar, our start menu as they call it. Again, this is a right click, not a left click. And then let's move the cursor to the network connection option and left click on that one. Now there's a bunch of options in the list, but net network connections is what we're focusing on right now. And from here, we pretty much have access to everything we need to fix this issue. So two clicks, that's nothing, right? Okay, so now that we're here, the first thing I like to do is check the status because the status tells us a lot about what's going on, okay? Can actually even help us tell us where the real issue is, right? Because for example, let's say it says connected, but no internet. Well, in this case, we know we are connected to our router and our network and our network, but we don't have access to the internet. Now this could indicate an issue on our ISP side, right? The internet service provider, they might be having an issue. They could be having downtime or doing maintenance. That could be why we're not have, uh, don't have internet access at that time. Now, if it says not connect connected, which is what we're kind of focusing on today, that simply means you're just not connected to a network. So, of course, we're not going to be able to do anything online. We're not going to be able to access the internet because, well, we're not connected to a network at all. So if you see the Wi-Fi option on the sidebar, that's what we're going to aim for. So on the side, Wi-Fi, easy click, left click on that. And once we're in here, you're going to see an option to show available networks in the area. Now, remember, like I just said, all available networks in the area that means your neighbors networks as well so make sure you know the ssid or network name for your home network and choose that option from the list when it pops up now after choosing to connect to that network your wi-fi in the list you'll be prompted to enter your security key which is your wi-fi password now if you're not sure what this is it can usually be found under the router if you left it as the default well, what's my router, you might be asking. Well, that's the white or black box that your internet service provider probably set up for you or sent to you in the mail. Of course, if they sent it to you in the mail, now it's probably all coming back to you because you probably had a horrible day trying to set that up and plugging in all the wires and make sure everything's good, calling your internet service provider, giving them the Mac address, all that different stuff, right? So that device, on that device underneath it, you'll probably find the password for your Wi-Fi network. Now, if you don't, that's okay. If it's provided by your internet service provider, you can always call them to get that information. Or if you have like an app that manages the router, you might be able to find that information or even change that information in there. Or you can go check out our video all about managing your home network right here. Check that out. So anyway, let's, let's talk about things that could go wrong, right? Because a lot of things could go wrong, right? I'm telling you it as if it all just flowed easy, right? We just went into Wi-Fi and we found the network and then, uh, we went in the network and we we have the password and we put it in, we connected, boom, we're back online. That's great, but let's go back to step one. Remember I was talking about Wi-Fi showing up in the sidebar list. One of the most common issues that you will run into with no connection, when you have no connection or your Wi-Fi disconnects is that maybe the Wi-Fi doesn't show up anymore in that sidebar. <gasps> what does that mean? Well. That means a couple of different things. That could mean one, that something's wrong with your Wi-Fi adapter inside your computer, right? The device inside of there that allows you to have Wi-Fi or the drivers for your network, uh, Wi-Fi network adapter inside could be going haywire or damaged, operating system having issues, number of different things could be causing Wi-Fi to not show up there. So some advanced troubleshooting tips would be to re-download those Wi-Fi network adapters for your device. You need to identify it from device manager and then you could reinstall the drivers. Of course, to do that, you'll need to be online. So temporarily, you might need to run like an ethernet cable from your device into the router. If you do that, that'll bypass the Wi-Fi and allow you to directly connect. 
And then you have Ethernet based connection, which <laughs> I will say is better than Wi Fi, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about reconnecting to Wi Fi. So it's not showing up in the list. Number of different reasons why that may be occurring. Now, if you're not tech savvy and you don't think that you could figure that out on your own, definitely give us a call. Number's always at the beginning and the end of the video. Now, that's one of the other one of the common issues. Another common issue that might uh, occur during all this is your network might not show up. So your home network or SSID might not show up in the list of available networks. What does that mean? Well, that can mean a number of different things. That could mean that you need to reboot your router or again, that it's network equipment just having issues could be dead. So um, one of the ways to get around a dead Wi-Fi network adapter inside of your computer would be to do like an external uh, Wi-Fi adapter like this. Those will work well, but if it's the router that goes out, unfortunately, you would have to replace the router. If it's through your internet service provider, they might be able to just get you a new one for free. Uh, but if it's your router, you may end up having to bite the cost and replace it yourself. So. I hope this helps anyone who's trying to get back on their Wi-Fi network on the Windows operating system, Windows 11 specifically. If you need additional help, again, our number's at the beginning and the end of the video. Please give us a call and comment below on some future video ideas. We need some ideas for next month, right? I got four new videos in store for you guys and four new videos coming off our blogs. Love to hear what you guys want to hear about. And while you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.